bottom dollar has moved out. But will Aldi move in? So high-level talks today. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Bob Mayo is live for us. Bob, any decisions for us? Well, Wendy, not a final decision, but finally, word of a timeline and an important commitment. You can see the lights are on, but the doors are locked. The store is empty inside. We learned some things today about possible paths to it reopening and whose name could ultimately be on the door is still an open question. This Garfield bottom dollar just opened in June to crowds, lines, and celebration. In December, protests when it closed due to Aldi buying it in a larger deal. Now, progress out of Mayor Peduto's and County Executive Fitzgerald's meeting with Aldi and neighborhood leaders about Aldi's plans. We now know that by the end of March, there's going to be a firm decision. And after that, it'll be up to us, if it's not going to be an Aldi, to find another store operator. We're hopeful that it's going to be Aldi. The good news is Garfield's a, a neighborhood on the move. Property values are going up. People are moving in. People are investing in the property. An Aldi executive was upbeat, leaving the closed-door meeting at the mayor's office. Very positive and constructive. Community leaders are hopeful. And we got, I think, a fairly good commitment today that they would not be an obstacle to another grocer coming into the site if they make the decision not to open a store themselves. I can't stress the importance of having a grocery store in the neighborhood. It is a food desert. All you have to do is live in that area to understand that. Residents tell us. Every community deserves to have their own grocery store, and especially because it's only been open for six months, and for them to close it so quickly, uh, we definitely I hope they replace it with something that's just as good. Aldi and the mayor's office pledged a joint statement outlining exactly what happened in that meeting today. While we have this information for you from the people who were inside the meeting, there's no official statement from them yet. Reporting live in Garfield, Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Thank